our YouTube channel and our class. Today we are going to be looking at microscopes. Real time work. Microscope. What does word microscope mean? When you talk about the word microscope, it means it comes from two words. The first one is micro, the second one is scope. When you talk about micro, it means something which is very small. Then scope means something which are uh, related to vision. So you are viewing something which is very small. So it means that when you're using a microscope, you are trying to view something which is very small. You cannot see it with your naked eyes. Hence, microscope. Whenever you talk about micro, you're trying to mean things which you can't see. Whenever you talk about scope, you're trying to mean vision, telescope. You're viewing the land, something on the land. Periscope, you're viewing something in the sky. Microscope, you're viewing something with it. So whenever you're talking about scope, you're trying to mean vision. Even some of you ask, can I have a scope? It means that you want to see, you want to see what they're going to say. All right, that's not our business today. Our business today is the different kind of microscopes based on our grades and then how do we label them and how do we bring it in exam yes so we have two kinds of microscope the first one is called the simple microscope simple microscope simple microscope it means that this is a microscope which is made up of one lens an example is the hand lens here is an example of a simple microscope this microscope can it has only one lens is a hand lens eh? we call it hand lens because we use a hand to try to view it has only one lens its magnification is not that big compared to these other ones because of its magnification is low then they had to advance it to another microscope which you're gonna see so uh when you're using a, a simple microscope you uh, put on something if i want to view this or if i want to view this i have to put on it and then i move eh? you try to move try to move as you move out it becomes bigger when you move back it becomes smaller when i move out it becomes bigger so it depends on um how much you want to magnify it. So we call it simple microscope and lens. Sometimes we call it magnifying glass, but it's the same thing. All right, number two, we have what we call compound. Compound. If you're not simple, you're compound or you're complex. So we call it complex or compound microscope. Don't call it complex. Compound microscope is because of the uh, different lenses it has. It has this lens here and it has these lenses. Yes. When you're working using it, you only use two lenses at a time, the eyepiece and then the objective. So why are, is it having a lot of lenses here? It means that these lenses are here so that to change the magnification. This one, uh, the magnification can only be obtained by changing the distance. While these ones, the magnification, you can only get it by changing the lens you are using. So it has this. Some of them, are, they have two eyes, the eyepieces, they are two. So if they are two, then we call it, it's, 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 it's a binocular. It means that you see using two eyes. However, if it has one eye, like this, it only has one eye, yes? It has one eye, yes, this is a, an example of the eye, yes? You look into it. Then it is called monocular. It's monocular. So it means that uh, you are viewing using one eyepiece. So when I try to view, you are using, I'm using one eye. I close one eye and then I use one eye. So it's called monocular. But if there are two, it means that I have two of them here. Yeah? Then I use two of them like this. Then it's called binocular. However, they give you the same function. So 
What are some of the parts of this microscope? I have two kinds of microscopes here. I have this microscope and I have this microscope. The two, they work in the same way. But you're going to see how do they differ. Depending on which one do you have, which one are you using at the school, which one are you using at the university. So it remains the same thing. Uh, the, 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 the way how it works is the same thing. So the first thing is the eyepiece. So some microscopes, they come with eyepiece like this. Ne? This is not the eyepiece. This is the cover where the eyepiece goes. So you remove it and then you put the eyepiece. The eyepiece is always given in the, in the box. When the box comes, you will see the different, uh, the microscope goes there and then you have the different eyepieces there. And then you have different, depending on which kind of uh, microscope is that. So uh, this is the eyepiece. Eyepiece comes in different uh, versions. When I talk about the version, I'm talking about the magnification. It can come with this magnification or it can come with a different magnification. So this one, if you look at this, it is 10 times. It means that it's going to magnify the object 10 times. While this one is going to magnify the object uh, 25 times. 25 times, 10 times. Yes, that's the meaning. So, you put it there and then you are able to view. You don't need to change the microscope all the time. No, no, no. This can move. It can move. All right. The microscope has what's called the eyepiece. It has this tube, which you call the eyepiece tube. Yes, eyepiece tube, eyepiece, eyepiece tube. This is the first part where you put the eye to view. Then, it has what you call objective. This is what's called objective lenses. These lenses can be moved off and on, and then you put another lens which you want to put. Here I have a number of uh, objective lenses. Yes, I have a number of objective lenses. Yes, right here. I have this, I have this, I have this, I have this. So, depending on which objective lens do I want to use. If I don't want to use this one, this one is um, times 10. So, the magnification is going to be 10 times 10. So, it's going to become, the total magnification is going to become 100 times. Then, uh, this one is 100. So, if I put this one on here, yes, if I put it here, I see, and then I turn this to be there in the middle there. So, it means that it's going to be 10 times 100 is going to be 1,000 times. So uh, what I'm going to view here is going to be a thousand times. So you can change these eyepieces based on the kind of magnification you want. So we call it uh, uh, objective lens. Be gentle when you are putting it. Yeah? Yes. All right. <laughs> so uh, these are what we call the eyepiece. They increase the magnification. Né? If you look at them, né? this one is uh, uh, 40 times, uh, this one is 4 times, and then this one is 10 times. Yeah. Sometimes we identify them by the colors. They have, they have a color here. They have a ring which indicates the different colors. They have a ring. You see this ring? Yes. This ring has a color. So these rings, they indicate a different color. All right. It has this part. We call this part a stage. A stage. Where you put your slide. If you want to view something, you put your slide here. Then it has these things. If you hear the, the sound, yes. It has these things. It's called the clips. These are the clips which uh, put the slide in position. Yes, so you put the slide here and then you put the clip on it. So that when you are, just by case you, you shift a bit, the, 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 the slide doesn't fall down. Then it has these knobs. Yes, it has these knobs. We call this knob 
we call this knob, we call this knob, ne? this knob. The big one, we call it cost adjustment knob. You adjust. That's why it's called the adjustment. You adjust, adjustment. And then you have what called the fine adjustment knob. Cost adjustment knob, the function of cost adjustment knob is to bring the object in focus. For example, you have put the, 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 the slide here on top, and then now you are viewing. When you view, yes, you bring this, this as you move this, né? this edge moves up and down. Remember, when you are using this, you try to move in and out so that you bring the correct focus. So in this case, we don't have that here. We have to change using the cost adjustment knob, and then the focus will be brought about. So we call it cost adjustment knob. And then now, when you see, when you're turning like this, and then you see, you see um, the, the object a bit, but that's not, that it's not yet clear. Then you stop, and then now you turn using the fine adjustment knob. Because this fine adjustment knob is a little bit slow, so you can focus the object uh, clearly. That's why we call it fine adjustment knob. Yeah, so that it brings the fine focus of the object when you are trying to view it under a microscope. So, now, it has what you call this. This is called a light source. It's called a light source. You can move it and then uh, show you. It has a bulb. It has a bulb inside. However, there's some. You see, it has what you call, it has a bulb. It has a bulb inside. You see? Yeah, some don't have bulbs they have just a mirror which tries to you have to turn you have to be next to the source of light uh, when you turn then it, it can bring about a focus it has what called the diaphragm and what called a condenser yes it has different holes yes these holes they allow this light to enter but it has this part, yes, we turn it. it this, if, if, if you have a thick uh, object, you use a small, the small uh, hole. Because if you look at them, yes, if you look at them, there are some which are big, yes, there are some which are big, and then there are some which are small. So you use the smallest if the object you are trying to view is a little bit big. So that when it is small, it brings about that sharp light. It enters and then it penetrates this thick substance and then you are able to see it here. But if it is not that thick, it's, it's a little bit light. For example, you are viewing an onion cell, then uh, in most cases you use a small amount of light. And then also, when you are using um, under a low magnification, in most cases we use big Hall. Uh, if, it, if you are using a, a high magnification, when you use a high magnification, it means that you are focusing on a very small part of that uh, object you are trying to view. It means that the magnification is big. Yes. So now um, you try to turn it, and as you turn it, you will be seeing how much light is entering the, the eye. So now, where is this microscope going to get the light? We say that you have two options. You either use a bulb or you use uh, uh, some microscopes have, uh, they only have, they don't have a light. They only have, um, they, 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 they have uh, a mirror which reflects the light into the microscope. But this one, uh, you can use it with the electricity or with batteries. When you use electricity, you plug it in here. This is the cable which goes in, which goes in, yes, and then you plug it in here. When you plug it in the, in the, in the, in the, in the electricity, then light is going to be given out here. Or, what happens? Or, you bring the Bulbs. Yeah. Yeah. Now, when you put on the the batteries, yes, then you close, as I say, you close, 
Now, uh, when you close, you put it here, and then now you switch it on. You see, now the light is coming. The light is coming. But this light is, I can increase or I can reduce. I think it, 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 you see, it is reducing. You see, it is increasing. You see, it's reducing, it's increasing. Yeah, so after that, you have the eyepiece. Now you can look at it, and then you are able to see. So after that, you are able to see the what you have put here. Yes, you are able to see. So now, sometimes when you put it there, and you can't see, yes, sometimes when you put it there, and you can't see what is the problem, what could be the problem, it means that the hole here is not direct. The hole, so you have to put a hole, now that's the hole which is being used, clicks when you put it ne? Yeah, so the, that's the hole which is being used. Now, when you look here, you'll be able to see. So if you see it here, you see the light is coming from this side now. If you put your eye here, you're able to see. So if the light is too much, now you try to reduce the light. Ne? You try to reduce the light. Now you see here, the light is too small. But if I try to increase, now you see the light is too much. But if I try to reduce, you see the light is too small so that's how it works and then you can also change the the condenser or the diaphragm until you get your perfect amount of light which is entering the eye that's the advantage the advantage that's the advantage that this can increase the light this sometimes it reduces the light so this this microscope doesn't just stand in the air it has a base so this is where the microscope sits. But if I want to, to, to hold it, how will I hold it? It has the arm. It has the arm for holding, for carrying it. So um, basically, that's it. And then we say that, uh, for example, if you want to put, um, for example, a slide. However, this is an example of a slip. But if it is a slide, yes, you scroll this microscope down yes you scroll it down then you turn it to the short shortest okay? and then you put it you put the slide there and then you bring these clips you put the clips on top and then you bring also this clip you put it on top like that and then now my slide cannot fall you see the slide is there yes the slide is there you see the glass but it cannot fall why because the clips they have hold the slide in position they have hold the what the slide in position now we are seeing another microscope here how about this, this microscope this microscope is also another kind of microscope but it's what this has the same thing what this has but the, 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 the only problem is, or the only difference, the IPC here is not, you can't change it. And objective, ob ob objective here, objective, you can change them. They are there, the objectives, they are there. I don't know whether you can see them. You can see this, this, the long one, the short one, the medium, and then the short one. They are there. But how do I change these objectives? Yes? How do I change these objectives? I change the objectives by turning here. You see, now once I turn like this, it means that this magnification and this magnification, it will be how much? 600 times. Then, if I turn this, if I turn this, um, it is 100 times. If I turn this, uh, it is uh, 1,200 times. So you can see it like this, but still it is, it is, uh, it can magnify. Yes, it's a compound microscope because it has one lens, two lenses. So because it has more than one lens, then it is a compound microscope. Yeah, so now this one, uh, it cannot change if, uh, most especially if you are short. It cannot change. You have to be... A, to adjust the level based on your what your, your 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 height but this one it can change you understand it can change if maybe you are too short then 
you can turn it so that, so that you don't do like this. Né? You can change and then, yes. Also, it has the batteries where they go. You see? The batteries, they go here. And then also, it has the slide. It, sorry, it has the, 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 the clips. So, you see, you put the slide here and then you release it so that it, 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 it does what? It, it holds the slide in position. So, it also has the clips. Yes. <laughs> what about the cost adjustment knob and the fine adjustment knob? Yes, it also has the two, the cost adjustment knob. Always the big one is the cost adjustment knob. And then the smaller one is the fine adjustment knob. So it has the fine adjustment knob and then it also has the cost adjustment knob. It also has the light, the switch, to switch it on and off, on and off. But the problem is one here, it doesn't have how much light is entering. So the, 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 the bulb here, inside here, there is a bulb, that bulb will provide light, but it's not with the specific amount, that it will only give a constant amount of light. That's what you call um, uh, a light microscope. We call it a light microscope because it uses light. Without light, we cannot see anything. So. Why do we need electron microscope? These ones are also limited. They can magnify, yes. They might not, they cannot see some parts. For example, you want to see inside the part of the chloroplast. You cannot use a light microscope to see the inside the part of the chloroplast. Chloroplast is too small. So what do we do? We have to use electron microscope. We use what you call electron microscope. The disadvantage with electron microscope, it can only view objects when these objects are dead. You have to first kill it and then you use those objects. The other microscopes I've not spoken about, they don't have this part of light. Yes, we call them dissecting microscope. These ones, they can be used even to view objects which are moving. Yes, moving objects. But these ones, we use them to view objects which are stationed. Yes, but the moving objects, the kind of microscope, they have the same thing, the eyepiece, the, the, sorry, the, uh, the eyepiece, the objective, and then when it comes to the slide, yes, it's like a dish, or it's like, yes, when it comes to the stage, it's like a dish, yes, or it, it, it's just a plain uh, stage where you put your, you, you put your pet dish, uh, you can put your dish where you view your objects from. Let me show you the dish I'm talking about. Your pet dish can look like this, and then you put it there, and you are able to see the what? The object. But this one, in most cases, they are moving. They are moving uh, organisms. Now, how do I put the object on the microscope, on the slide? How do I put a object on the slide? How do I dye it? How, how do I calculate the magnification? When you are calculating magnification, you multiply this, times this. Note this, the one which is here, which we are using to view. Then that will be the total magnification. This and this, then it gives you the total magnification. Alright, I think guys, I'm going to stop here for today. If you have any question, drop it down. I'll try to answer it. Don't forget to subscribe like our videos and we'll give you more this is just the beginning thank you then i must also talk about this this uh skeletons uh system uh you know system we have a lot we will also talk about the chemistry uh, the periodic tables elements bonding yeah we are going to talk about that the only thing you need to do is just to subscribe see you again inside